Hey everybody, Jared from eTrailer.com. Today I want to look at the Yakima J-Lo roof mounted kayak carrier here on our 2017 Nissan Rogue. With this kayak carrier, you can get your kayaks out of your garage, onto your roof rack, and then to your destination so you and your family can have a great time kayaking those lakes. Now, why don't you go ahead and take a look. Let's see how it's nailed down. First of all, we have these nice straps. That's a nice heavy fabric. I really like the two of these sections here. All right, nice pull tab here. Very, very strong section here. It is a nice rubber waterproof kind of housing section. Makes it easy identifiable while you're trying to put the strap on and whatnot. And again, it's nice and hard. So when the, the kayak is wet, you can go ahead and pull that nice and tight. Same thing on this end here. Like you can see, here's our J-Lo's. We'll get to those in a moment. I just want to show you how these are strapped down as well. Kind of carrier in the front is going to go ahead and connect under here. And as you can see on our Nissan Rogue, it does connect with a nice little metal loop here into your front of your vehicle on this side. There is a nice, again, durable strap here and this is a nice plastic piece to help from fraying when you do close your hood and the same thing on the back side when we're talking about the hatch again that same strength nice adjustable again we're going to have that nice plastic piece here so it doesn't interfere and chip your paint when you get to your water fun time destination you want to figure out how to get this kayak off your your roof let me go ahead and show you how to do that so let's go to the back here your hatch, again, it's nice and easy if you can find where the hatch is. Go ahead and open that up nice and simply there. Go ahead and close that for posterity. Put this on the way. Uh, let's go ahead and loop this up here. I don't want to scratch this nice Nissan Rogue we have here. I'll find a spot. A little vertical challenge, but I was able to achieve that. Now I'll come to the very front here. And, oh, hey, look, the, uh, the front is already unlatched for us. That was nice of my partner to do that. So we'll unhook this device here. We'll set that down nice and firm. Same exact thing, don't want to scratch our vehicle. Let's go ahead and find a nice spot for that to sit at. That looks like a good hook spot. Again, still stable, still secure. So the most vulnerable part of this, making sure this does not fall off of our Yakima kayak rack here. So we'll depress that metal part, which will loosen this up. Pull this zip through. I'm really glad that we have those rubber parts here, this gray rubber part to help enable us not to beat up our kayak when this is roaming free here in a second. Put that aside, we'll get to the back one as well. Same exact thing, you're gonna depress that metal spot. We'll zip this all the way through. Love that sound. There we go. And we'll pull it up nice and easy. We'll do the same to the other side. And on this Yakima J-Lo here, we do have the assist section. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down nice and easily. And let it slide down the sides, being aware of where my other straps are. And slowly, I can remove the kayak. Now with that kayak off here, let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at these Yakima J-Lo's. Now, you notice when we attempted to take off the kayak that we used both of these little assist slides here and they were perfect especially with those heavier kayaks and also being the fact that i'm a bit vertically challenged it makes it easier for me to push it up as high as i can and then that little bit of extra oomph. while i come around back here you can see that this is the, the section where the kayak will actually sit it is nice padded area very spacious Decent enough here, and as it closer to the edge, it starts getting into a little bit of harder plastic. I like the hard plastic on this. It definitely helps. It keeps it waterproof too, so when you're finished with your kayak adventures and you're mounting it back on here, that you can have a place where water will just start running off and then run off your vehicle as you're moving. 
as you get up closer here this is nice rubber sides here again all mounting going to keep your kayak nice and safe for a long period of time keep them valuable up top metal section and that's going to help make sure it's firm and it's going to keep it in place now if we push this lever here or pull it i should suggest this will move this up and down so in this figure configuration here this is going to allow me to carry one kayak for its j angle and then it'll allow you to place this and post style, which will allow you to put one kayak on this side and then a second kayak over here. Keep in mind, you can have one kayak in here with 80 pounds, but you can have two kayaks totaling out to 110 pounds. Now to remove this kayak mount here, it's simple as twisting the knobs on the side. There are two of them. We'll take care of the first one first. And then we'll move back to the second one and loosen that as well. Now, it might seem like the turns take quite a while in order to get this off of here, but I'll tell you what, I do appreciate how tight and how nice of a fit it is on here. It'll fit on these jet stream roof racks and it'll also fit on square ones. So with that, we can go ahead and pick that up out of there and remove that off our roof rack. Moving on to the front Yakima J-Lo, let's go ahead and get some measurements here. I'm gonna get a clearance here from the roof. Keep in mind, each roof rack will give you a different length. And it's gonna be approximately 22 inches off the top of the roof here on this Nissan. And from the roof rack all the way up, it's gonna give you 18 inches. So let's see, get the clearance we have here in the center. The pad itself, down here where it'll mostly touch, is going to be about 7 inches. And then to fit it in here fully, it's going to be about 9.5 inches of clearance. A nice feature on this Yakima j -Lo is that you have a lock fashion here, a lock fashion on here on this roof rack, specifically Yakima's brand. You can get them key to like, which isn't only going to help you. It's nice that you have less keys, but it is going to help when you pull this down here and you decide to stow it away and here you can leave it up on your vehicle at nighttime without worrying about somebody coming around and stealing your kayak mount. And with this folded down, let's go ahead and get a measurement. Again, keep in mind that this roof rack is gonna be different depending on which one you buy, but from the roof here to the top of this roof rack, to the top of this kayak mount is going to be eight and a half inches. And if I determine at the top of the roof rack to the top of this kayak mount it's going to be four inches enclosed final thoughts on this kayak carrier i think i really like it i like the idea that it this nice little system here can ratchet it in and out it feels nice and secure everything's internal so it's going to go ahead and ratchet it down nice and sharp i don't feel like it's moving it's going to keep my kayak in there nice and secure so i can get those kayaks out of the garage onto my roof and to wherever i'm going my destination all right, and that was a look at our Yakima J-Lo roof-mounted kayak carrier on this 2017 Nissan Rogue. I'm Jared with eTrailer.com. Have a good one.